Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks. This is part two. I didn't realize that he had two different graphics. That's why the date doesn't matter because it's going to engrave. He's not doing the same thing on both sides. This is one side. This is one side. It really probably makes it easier. Because if we do this, these horses are exactly the same. And the shield outline is exactly the same. Well, it's close. The cut line on this one is a little bit wobbly because his graphic isn't as good. Where this cut line, well, this is the one that's not a very good cut line, but it'll still cut. And I'm going to show you how to fix that maybe in a separate video. But if we mirror this guy and hit P and hit P, they're identical. They're right on top of each other. So we're going to nudge that guy out of the way and we're going to mirror this guy back. Okay. Now, what we need to do is put them up to the top of the page. Well, what we're going to do first, we're going to put two rectangles like we did before. We're going to select our item, hold down the shift, double click our left mouse button, make our rectangle. Go up to effects, uh, contour, contour the outside point one or even, yeah, we need that, we need that room uh, above his head. Go up to effects and break the, go up to object and break the contour part. Get rid of the, get rid of the uh, interior, interior con, contour line and make this one red. Now let's put that in the center of the page, put our graphic in the center of the page and it worked. So let's go plus key on the keyboard and move that one up. Actually group it together with control G Take our horse away from this one and hit this one, P, to put it in the center of the page. And then Control G to group it. What our square, I didn't group it. Control G to group it. What our square does, he was a little bit confused. I'm just gonna kind of show you. If you had a um, piece of wood and you cut it out, I think this one's gonna leak a little bit, but it'll it'll quit here in a second. The blue piece of wood will flip and you'll still have room for indexing. Um, I did this earlier and it did this, so it's gonna stop in a second when it leaks to where it's supposed to be leaking and it stops. But what the, the, the blue represents wood. So when you flip the wood, you're flipping your cutout also. So we still want to cut out the horse in, in the rectangle. And you could do a circle with a you know, little notch on it. But see, so the blue is going to, we can do that by taking our blue and mirroring it and then move it over here and look. That's what you're going to get. You know, it looks a little different now. Let me put that back. You know, the blue's off. Okay, that's right on the money. You know, oh, I moved these manually. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's, let's put this in the center of the page. I moved them manually up there and you don't want to do that. <clears throat> and then... Um, Let's hit this one, <clears throat> excuse me, hit center of the page. And now let's nudge that over. Let's nudge it over twice. Now let's nudge over our blue twice and then mirror that. So when we flip the wood, that's what you're gonna get. So just disregard the blue, We're, it'll work. Now, one thing, since we have flip, you need to make sure your dates are right and your wording is right and this is all grouped together and we can move it up manually and then move this one up manually. <clears throat> Matter of fact, you can actually select them all and go EC. Move them up that corner. Grab one of them and nudge it up. We're gonna nudge it up five inches. Okay, 
So this is gonna be your second run, this is your first run. Remember five inches. Now, you know what we're gonna, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. So this thing is less than three inches, we're gonna make our nudge factor 3.05. We're gonna grab both these and just control D till we get the 13 we had earlier, okay? So that's, everything's equal. Now we need to figure out um, how tall it is, and it's 3.2, so we're gonna change our nudge factor to 3.3, and we're gonna nudge this one up, up, up. Move this one, control D, down, down, down. So you're gonna, and for the one I'm doing it for, uh, you've got more room left on your bed. Uh, but regardless, I would take some blue tape and tape down your wood. A couple different spots. You know, even if you have room up top. A couple of things, it'll help the wood not move. And two, it'll remind you not to move it. And then take some more tape without moving the wood and grab all the pieces out. But I would grab them out one at a time and put them, put the, take the horse out. Well, just flip the whole thing, but one at a time. Because if you don't, you're gonna get confused and which is what. Then all you have to do is put this graphic, because we're not gonna cut into that hole that you flipped. And remember our nudge factor was five. See, and just nudge it back. So what we're gonna do, so you've run all these and hopefully you've watched the video on the first one about that your cut lines are in order because you want to cut the rectangle last in case it falls or dips down a little bit. Then all you have to do is, so run this as a combination job, raster and vector the horse and then cut it out. Just delete that graphic and nudge this one down. Ah. That five inches. They should be in the exact same spot. And now this time, because you flipped over the hole, the horse should be in the exact same spot. And then don't run a cut job, just run a raster job, just to engrave these. It's a little tricky, but it can be done. Hope that helped, thank you for watching.